Hello everyone and welcome to the week 70 update for Icarus. So this week it introduces two new food types which is the rhubarb and the kumara. I did release a full guide and everything you need to know on how to get the rhubarb and the kumara yesterday. I will leave that down in the pinned comments if you want to go and check that out. And there's also further news on the development process of the up and coming update Galileo. So I'll be showing you like the basic steps to getting rhubarb and the kumara. Like I say I do have a full guide down in the pinned comments. So you must have a short range radio to get the rhubarb and kamara as they are only available on open world mode and you can't harvest them on the open world either. The only way to get them is via rewards from doing dynamic missions. It is complete RNG on when you get your rhubarb and kamara as well as I ran 34 dynamic missions before I got rewarded with 20 kamara and 20 rhubarb. And then on my live stream yesterday, I ran one dynamic mission and then I got them. So it's very scattergun approach and it's just complete RNG if you get them or not. Once you do get Rubam Kamara, these are the two items here. I'm not going to cover these in depth as I do have a full guide for these. These items on the top row here are all the new foods you can craft as well. So sautéed rhubarb, broiled Kamara, vegetable roll, shepherd's roll. Fried chunky vegetables and rhubarb stew. Due to the RNG nature of how to get the rhubarb and kamara, I'd highly recommend it when you do get the seeds, plant them as quick as possible and use fertilizer. This is what rhubarb looks like fully grown. And this is what kamara looks like fully grown. Like I say, you want to be using fertilizer to get your rhubarb. Because you do not want to have to keep on running dynamic missions if you've got a group of players who want a lot of good food. And that's it for the Rubam Kamara. Like I say, in my guide, I cover all of the foods you can craft with all of the stats and bonuses they also give. So make sure you do check that out down in the pinned comments. Now on to some Galileo update news. The devs going to say Galileo continues to make steady progress and we're moving towards testing our fishing mechanics, localizing our achievements, and finalizing details. We have now added the final fish meshes and finished the casting and reeling animations, completing this part of the project and moving into the testing phase as we refine our UI and look for any bugs that might be present in the new system. We have also updated the beastery to include more information on possible unlocks as well as other abilities to trigger the respective animal sounds. So that sounds like when you open this book, you'll be able to flick through a, a bunch of animals you've already discovered in the past. You might be able to press on one and it'll make that animal noise. So you can press on it to identify an animal which you're not sure about or make sure it is an animal that you've already encountered in the past. Like I've already touched on, make sure you check the pinned comment for the full guide and walkthrough for the Rhubarb and Kamara guide. It will cover how to get it, what foods you can craft, all of the buffs and all of the workstations you're going to need to create all of the foods as well. As always, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like on the video. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the Rhubarb and the Kamara. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you all again very soon.